Hi Aries, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your weekly reading for the 10th to the 16th of February and we've got Valentine. So I'm using also the Romance Angel deck and if you haven't seen your romance reading yet for the month of February then go to the playlists and have a look and also there is the yearly romance so have a look at that as well okay i'm using the wild wood tarot and they're beautiful little cards um they usually are bigger but i've got a smaller version so um and this is monday wednesday friday saturday and sunday the overall energy i'm using the surrender deck the angel Feather and the Wayne Dyer um, Inspiration Deck and the Witch's Oracle. There is beautiful readings and I like the way they come together as usual. Um, and um, of course, if you're new, welcome. And if you are my, one of my cyber babes and you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so because. Um, YouTube is making changes and apparently it's doing the rounds that people are getting de uh, deleted if they don't often uh, visit their websites, uh, the, the, the pages of the readers that they follow. So please subscribe and come back now and again once a month or something like that I would suggest and then you can uh, be safe, uh, sure that you uh, will not get deleted. To, you have to uh, put out a video out there on arithmic, uh, ar um, arithma, arithmics, the, the, the search robot. So um, the system is changing and you've heard me moan for a couple of months now about issues and technical things. Well, this is one that the viewers must know if they want to keep following their favorite readers. So um, hit that subscribe button. It's not to get more subscriptions, but it is for your own interest. And then come back now and again to visit your readers. Then you will not get deleted by the search robots. Inactive accounts are being deleted. Okay, and there's also other things that are being deleted. YouTube is getting tougher on bullying. bullying. So if anybody um, bullies uh, any readers, um, and the same for readers, if some readers use too much of uh, bad language, they get deleted as well. They're getting tougher, and that, that is also good, I think, um, especially um, they, are, um, they had to follow the law in the States, the COPP, a law and that is protecting the children okay let's get started with the reading so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and it will be saved in your library and i also do uh, lives every night usually unless something comes in between uh, every single day and then you can get a free card and you can also ask a specific question with super chat or a super sticker that's a donation and my my website is up and running so go and have a look there's different readings different types of readings that you can have uh, partnerships uh, go and have a look it's too long otherwise the introduction will be too long my darlings but it's nice talking to you okay and you can find it in the description box all the details and i hope to see you in the life and then if you're new, you can have your wings too. You'll be my cyber baby. And we have an awesome family. Cyber family. In the tea room. Okay, the first card that you have, Aries, is the page of vessels. And that is the otter. And the page of vessels, well, that's quite logical, is you can see the water is the page of cups. So the page of cups might be um, giving you news. This could be about love. This could be about um, passion. This could be about something that you want to, to do, a passion, a vocation. You might have a vocation, a calling, or you might be passionate about something 
and you'll get news that you've got the job. Wow. Or you might be meeting a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. In, on Wednesday, you've got the Stag, and that is number eight. And number eight is the High Priest, or also known as the Hierophant. You might be seeking advice from a mature man. Uh, you might be seeking advice from a mature man. Uh, this could be a father, or this could be um, a, a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, a headmaster, anything, anybody from an institution or that is professional. Okay, but you could also be meeting a Taurus Aries because the stag, the high priest, the high event represents Taurus. Okay, and on Friday you have the Eight of Stones and that's the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, so the Eight of Pentacles that means hard work. You are getting recognition for your hard work. You might even um, seek advice like a career officer on what kind of study you want to do or what kind of work you could do with your um, recognition and your work you, that you have studied for. You get recognition because you've been really, really working hard. Wow. And I see now there is also a, a hand. Now, I don't know, but it looks like somebody is leaving their mark behind. Yes, that could be it. You're leaving your mark behind. Uh, that is recognition. Uh, you might be leaving one job to go to another job because you've got recognition you might have had a promotion so but you will leave your mark behind and that is your legacy wow strong stuff there and then you have and um, that means also skill okay then you have the journey and the journey that is number 13 so that is the death card the death card you're in transformation. You are leaving something behind, an old face. You're in transition, tran uh, um, transformational period. You're no longer the uh, caterpillar. You're the butterfly. You're the butterfly. You're going into a new, beautiful, new beginning. This is full moon, so now it is also full moon in Leo. So this is a very important day. Then we have at the bottom of the card and we have the polar bear, the great bear. And the great bear, that is the north note, the north star. And this is known as the judgment card. The judgment card, a new beginning, an uprise, arising from the dead. So a second chance. If you didn't pass the first time, then this is your second chance. Your second chance to perhaps get that job that you are passionate about. Well, Aries, now we're going on to the surrender deck. Okay, surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening uh, your heart. Ooh. Open your heart, then you can let a beautiful, exciting new beginning come in. It could be new love, and this could be with, um, let's see, uh, a water sign this could also be with pentacles so that could be this that's the stones okay so that is an earth sign or a water sign and those are cancer scorpio and pisces aries or a virgo uh, um, a virgo 
Taurus or a Capricorn. Um, and you have the Aqua Angel Feather. You have healing hands. The angels acknowledge that you have unique healing talents and abilities. Your magical prowess is required in service. Like I said, that might be the health service. Wow. Okay. Then you have live in spirit. Well, you might, your spirits might be heightened because the moon is here and you're in a transformational period. So you might be more sensitive, more emotional, more intuitive. And we've got the card from Wayne Dyer, live in spirit. Live in spirit. That means spiritual means uh, indeed, like in spiritual, have faith in yourself, um, like you might be more sensitive, be aware of what is happening to you spiritually and with your faith and with your trust. Those are things that you can't buy or touch. You either have them or you don't. When you choose to live in spirit, you entrust yourself to something greater than your life as a physical being. When you listen and allow spirit guides, uh, if you allow spirit guides you and the angels, when you fail to listen, that's to yourself and your higher self, your mind, when you sit quietly and you listen to any ideas that come in and you note them down, that's a good idea. Then you can, when you come back into the now, then you can evaluate it and see and plan around it and do something with those ideas or thoughts and th that is when the angels and the spirit guides guide you when you fail to listen or allow your ego to get in the way and run the show you are no longer in spirit and are usually uninspired and that's what makes you depressed. There you go. That is your card. And you've got a lot of purple. And you need to ground yourself the red. Spiritual colour is purple. Then we've got the uh, Merkaba. Merkaba. And that is the five pointed star. And the north. Uh, the, the, the north point of the star that is masculine and the um, south is feminine okay I don't know much about all the symbols I'm, I'm getting together with a lady that calls herself a witch she's very beautiful but she's also a healer and we're going to bisect this deck okay it is a divine light the, uh, sorry, it is a divine light vehicle, uh, allegedly, used by ascended masters to connect with a reach and reach those in tune with the higher realms, your higher self. Okay, You're, you are, you have healing ha hands, so you must be very spiritual. Okay. Um. It is a crystalline energy field, is composed of specific sacred geometries, uh, the alignment of the mind, body, heart together, that this enables us to experience expanded awareness, connects us with the elevated potential of consciousness, and it restores access to uh, to and memory of the infinite possibilities of our being. Live in the spirit. Wow. The message of the Makaba is simple. <coughs> Excuse me. Your motivations are the foundations for what you want to manifest in life. And if those motivations are based in fear and limitations, Fear. That will be all you will get. But if you are motivated to your heart 
and your true inner power. There are no limits and abundance will be yours. So surrender to fear of intimacy. Open your heart, in other words, and open your solar plex. And you are open to receive the good. But you know that you are also susceptible to negative energy. So be aware of that. Use your healing hands for yourself as well. Awesome. Strong messages here, Aries. I know you are, you can be a very spiritual person, although you're fire. So, beautiful. The last card we have is keep an open mind. Yes. Don't be from, no, I'm not spiritual and I don't believe in that. Keep an open mind. Open your heart as well. All your chakras. Okay. It's just the wording from the oracle, uh, which is oracle. They, it all boils down to one thing. The universe, love, peace, okay, and love yourself, and nurture it, nurture yourself and others. Be happy. Your soul mate may differ from your usual type of expectations. So if you're not partnered up, then be open to surprises. Be open. Don't have any expectations. I know that's hard. But you are a very spiritual, sensitive person this week, I think. So be open for surprises. Awesome. You've got the star. So if you take the meaning of the tarot of the star and Lenamon, then your wish is coming true. But you must be open to receive. Now, you've got uh, the turquoise um, uh, aqua marine, that's turquoise, then you have Archangel Haniel with you and that is also nearly situated with the, what do you call it, uh, the throat chakra. So be careful what you say, but call upon Haniel to bring in sweetness, okay, to bring in sweetness. Um, I'm, I'm doing the colors with the chakras. So you can see this turquoise here. And that is Haniel. And that's the heart. And we, I was just talking about open your heart. And the themis. Now that's a little clan on the chest. Just, uh, just a, uh, on the same level as your heart. All right. Just tap on that with your two fingers three times. And it should activate happiness. So that is Haniel, sweetness, honey. So you can meditate on that word. You can ask him, um, Haniel, Archangel Haniel, will you bring honey to me, sweetness? Will you help me open my heart? Okay, and bring me joy. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Aries, and I hope to see you in the life. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Then you'll be notified when I do go live. And you can have a free card. There's usually more than one card. And you can do the super chats, donation. And if you want an extend, would like an extended reading, then have a look at the description box. That's where the email will be. And our website. Take care and be blessed. And please share and like. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.